What is going on today, guys? Just Ghost here, and we got a little bit of a different kind of upload for you today. Not sure why I'm wearing a hood inside. Look at those delicious bangs. Anyway, guys, ever since I joined Team Justice, I've been getting a lot of messages, and the general theme of most of those messages are, what's going on? I'm a decent player, decent KD, but what can I do to better myself as a player so that one day I can join a team such as Team Justice? And while there's no set of rules or guidelines on becoming a pub star, um, I put together this little video of things that I do to set myself a cut above other players in the lobby to shine and stomp some pubs. So without further ado, I present to you whatever this is. I don't know what you want to call it. Half vlog, half montage. But I call it the definition of a judge. judge, judge. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the first thing I like to do is intensity and rush routes. Now, when I say rush routes, I don't just mean the opening rush route. I mean map navigation and also intensity. If you come into a lobby right out the gate, you get a four piece, three piece, two piece, you just keep racking the kills up. You're going to let them guys know, hey, I'm with Team Justice and this is my motherfucking lobby. Another important tool in the Pub Stompers arsenal is diversity and adaptability. And by this, I mean you should be able to pick up any weapon on the ground and go off with it. Kill confirmed. Enemy satcom spotted. Kill confirmed. Another thing that's very important is awareness. And this can be everything from spawn knowledge to just straight up sound horn. Next is the ability to PTFO. Now a lot of pub stars believe this is not that important, but in my humble opinion, if you go in 90 and 10 and you lose the game, you look so damn foolish. So if you can play the objective correctly, you should be able to shine as a player and also win the game for your team. Secure. Squad member ready for duty. Ground jammer ready. Friendly ground jammer active. Losing Bravo! Oracle ready for activation. Losing B! Friendly Oracle online. We lost B! Next up, we're talking about working them spawns, baby. And I'm not talking about spawn trapping. I'm talking about getting up in that spawn, running around, causing mayhem. Now, if you're going for nasty feeds and a really high-scoring gameplay, running around mid-map and in and, and, and your own spawn is only going to get you so far. If you want to have a sick, crazy gameplay, you got to get up in the spawn. At your disposal. Sentry gun is 
ready for deployment. Behind ready for deployment. The next tool we like to use is called flanking, especially when they're dug in and camping. Now, sometimes it's difficult to detect where they are, but a good pub star should be able to sniff them out by the faint smell of urine and fear. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. We're in the lead. Kill confirmed. IMS at your disposal. Kill confirmed. Your sentry gun is ready for deployment. And lastly, we're going to talk about intensity. Now, you might say, hey, intensity was the first thing we talked about. But... The first thing you want to do is start off with heavy intensity to set the tone for the entire match. But if you can hold that intensity for the duration, every single game should end like this. Friendly hind incoming. Securing Charlie. IMS ready for deployment. Losing Bravo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, now if you're curious on whether or not you are pub stomping correctly, at the end of most of your matches, you should be getting all kinds of messages on people either just cussing you out or calling you a hacker or a modder. If you're receiving messages like that, then you are well on your way to becoming a full-fledged pub star. That's all I got for right now, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed the video.